Hey guys, Veronica here. Songwriting is an excellent way to relieve stress. And also what I found to be very, very beneficial was that it helped me gain more perspective on whatever I was going through at the time. Now keep in mind, this is my own personal preference on how to write songs. So I'm not saying this is the only way. So if you like a couple of tips and you don't like the others, just throw those away and use what you like the most and what resonates with you the most. In my head, in my head there is a reflection distorted of me. Stop thinking and just feel. Doesn't that sound great? Try to tap into exactly what you're feeling first before anything else and use that as a guide to begin your song. It turns out that the songs that I wrote while I was in the most vulnerable state tend to be the ones that are the audience favorites. Show, don't tell. If there's a message that you want to convey in your song, be careful not to be preachy, okay? Now what I mean by that is that people tend to receive from the heart when you are expressing from the heart. I really, really believe that. It's proven true with every song that I've ever written. Basically what you can do is share your own personal experience and allowing yourself to be vulnerable will make you more relatable so people will respond to that and relate to you and in turn will be inspired or comforted by your lyrics and your music. A lot of people believe that art is not technically art if it has a preconceived result. In other words, if you know exactly what the song is going to be, it doesn't serve as something very organic and raw and really creative. Now that is an opinion. If you guys disagree with that, that is totally fine. When you don't know the end result, it gives yourself more space and more freedom to create. I have found that when I give myself plenty of time, I can usually write a song fairly quickly. If you have a whole day to yourself and to your music, take it. Take it, take it, take it. If you wanna write a song, that is probably the best thing you can do is take an entire day for it. Now, not a lot of people have an entire day to spend being creative, <laughs> writing a song. So if that's the case, then just try to take a certain amount of time out of your day where you just have no other responsibilities or obligations, no distractions to disrupt your creative juices from flowing. Another personal preference is solitude. I have to be absolutely alone in order for me to feel completely, completely comfortable writing freely. When I have somebody nearby, whether they're in the other room or in the room with me, it makes it very difficult for me to focus because in the back of my mind, I'm having self-conscious thoughts, wondering if that person is listening in and making judgments on my very beginning stages of my song. Now the last tip I'm going to give you is don't be afraid to take time away from the song. Sometimes it's best to go do other things, get the lyrics, get the melodies, all of that out of your head so that you can come back to it with a fresh slate. You might come to find that the song sounds a lot better than you had left it, or it sounds a lot worse than you had left it. After listening to the same thing over and over and over again for a long span of time, your ears can become almost in a way numb to the sound. That's why I would recommend taking breaks here and there. And sometimes you might take a whole month, maybe even a year. Now we don't want it to take that long to write a song, but sometimes that's what it takes. I have songs that I've written and started two years ago that I haven't even started performing until this year because there was something that just wasn't quite finished with it but I couldn't put my finger on it and it turns out later on I was able to naturally finish the song without even really thinking about it. If you truly want to make music that people are going to feel and experience 
you have to come from a place that is honest, raw, genuine, vulnerable. That is human. Now that sort of thing it takes patience and understanding of yourself. Now this style of writing that I'm sharing with you is not the kind of writing where you're rushing at all to finish a song because you have a deadline. No pressure, no rushing. It should be a cathartic experience, an enlightening experience, and a personal developing experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking that button right there. You can get notified every time a new video comes out. If you're a songwriter as well and want to share some tips with the rest of us, please don't hesitate. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's video, which will be more of a tutorial on the steps to take when writing a song. I've got some original songs that I wrote in my live performance playlist. You can also check out my cover songs as well as my other video blogs. You can also follow me on my Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Now go start writing songs, being rock stars, and just being freaking cool, okay? I'm Veronica Sixtos. Peace and love and musical notes. If you wanted to, could you love me?